Hi, today I would like to tell you about Arrow Devices Unipro Checkmate Verification IP solution. As a member of the MIPI Alliance, Arrow Devices is actively working on developing a portfolio of verification IPs to meet customer needs. As part of our Unipro Checkmate Verification IP, not only do we provide a Unipro and M5 BFM, but also provide a complete test bench along with spec indexed compliance and constrained random test suites. We also provide pre-written spec indexed coverage metrics to enable quick convergence. Our solution comes with a handy debugger tool which helps in visualization of traffic and provides debug assistance. We also provide a nifty set of verification convergence tracking tools. Arrow Devices provides the advantage of a ready-made test bench along with compliance and constrained random tests thus enabling plug and play verification. This ensures that our customers can focus on their core product development. As the application side seaport interface as well as the Unipro serial interface are standardized, Arrow Devices offers you a ready-made test bench which allows plug and play verification. The test bench consists of three main agents. Unipro agent to control traffic through Unipro BFM, seaport agent to control traffic through DUT seaport interface and DME agent to control and configure DUT's registers. As an example, we will look at a directed compliance test that corrupts the CRC on an L2 data frame received by the DUT. The test transmits four data frames to DUT and corrupts the CRC for the second data frame. On running the test, the simulation reports some statistics which show us that a single NAC frame was received from DUT for the corrupted data frame. Our test bench provides ready-to-use seaport and RMMI drivers to interface with the DUT. In this waveform, we can see the different phases of PA layer initialization on the RMMI interface. As we can see, after the capability exchange, the clock switches to high speed gear 2 followed by L2 initialization. Subsequently, at the end of the waveform, we can see a message being received on the C port interface of the DUT. Let's spend a minute on the log file generated by the test. At the top, the log file summarizes the DME attribute settings for each layer. You can see transport layer L4 config, network layer L3 config, data link layer L2 config, and then the physical adapter layer L1.5 config. The log messages also show the NAC corresponding to the corrupted data frame followed by the AFCs for both traffic classes and then the retransmitted data frame. Now let's have a look at how the Unipro debugger helps in visualization of traffic for this test. The debugger displays traffic on a per layer basis. Looking at properties of the second data frame received by duty we see that an error is injected on this data frame. The duty replies with a NAC for this frame. We subsequently see that AFCs for both traffic classes are exchanged. We then see the retransmitted data frame sent to duty. Our constrained random test suite complements the directed tests to increase verification coverage. Here we are showing a multi C port test with random traffic and flow control delays. Error injection can be enabled for the same test with the addition of a simple command line argument. Our tracking tools collect regression data and present it in an easy to understand format which allows leaders to drive verification convergence. Here you see a spec index test plan with per layer pass fail data. Another convergence metric is coverage. We report per layer spec indexed coverage tracking data. Coverage holes are easy to spot and fix. Our BFM has been architected with the complete test plan, checks and coverage plan in mind. In fact, we start BFM design only after defining the test plan and coverage plan almost to completion. Each layer is a separate BFM component which allows the possibility of per layer test benches if so desired. Before we write a single line of code, we go into the details of each and every parallel thread that is required. We define all APIs, synchronization and interactions between these threads as part of our BFM microarchitecture definition effort before starting code implementation. 
We believe that by doing this, we ensure that the BFM architecture will stand the test of time. The BFM's traffic control, synchronization and configuration APIs are all available in the user guide. Thanks for your interest and please contact us for customer referrals or for evaluating our Unipro Checkmate verification IP solution.